Hey everybody and welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm going to do makeup from Rihanna's work video. This is the first look she had when she was doing the dance hall party, I guess you can say. It was like a whole bunch of twerking, gyrating, grinding, and all types of other legal activity going on in that video. I'm actually gonna do two looks in the video. This is obviously the first video look that she did and then I'm gonna do the second video where it's just her and Drake. So that's gonna follow this makeup tutorial. So if you wanna see how I achieve both looks, then please keep watching. Okay, let's get started. First, I'm gonna put on some chapsticks because my lips were dry. And then I'm going to just fill in my eyebrows. Here I'm just using clear brow gel to lay my eyebrow hairs down so they won't move. Time to apply some eyeshadow primer because we are about to pack these eyelids with a bunch of shadows. Taking this shade in the Carly by Bill palette, I'm going to put that in my crease area. And now with this golden shade, I'm going to put that all over my lid. And now I'm just blending that out. There's going to be a lot of blending in this look. Taking this gold champagne color from this e.l.f. palette, I'm going to pack that all over the lid. I'm applying this on top because I didn't feel like my eyeshadow was gold enough. And again, blend, blend, blend. Now I'm going to pack this gold glitter on my eyelid. It's not a loose glitter, so I didn't need a glitter adhesive. It's already in the shadow palette. Even though it wasn't a loose glitter, glitter did get everywhere. So here I am just wiping glitter away from underneath my eyes. Now I'm going to use this gold shade from this baked elf palette and put that on top of the eyelid to really make that gold color pop. I added a little bit more of the crease color on the brush before I started blending this out for the last time. I noticed that she had a very bold wing, so that's what I'm doing here. I'll link my winged liner video up above, so you can click that and watch that in depth if you like. Now I'm just going to curl my lashes and prep them for falsies. I don't like putting, like in depth how I apply my eyelashes because I'm still learning but yeah that's what I'm gonna do right now now it's time to move on to the face I'm gonna add my primer and then I'm going to add my foundation with a beauty blender Now it's time to conceal. I'm going to add that in the usual spots underneath both eyes, bridge of my nose, forehead, cupid's bow, and chin and blend that out with my beauty blender.
Now I'm just going to apply setting powder to wherever I concealed. Now I'm going to apply some bronzer on my cheeks and just a little bit of blush. To finish the eyes, I'm just going to line my waterline with black and then apply some mascara to my lower lashes. So I realized I did not have a green lip color so I am going to improvise and I'm going to use a dark teal cream eyeliner and then on top of that I put a green cream eyeliner on top because it's makeup and makeup has no rules. I noticed the green was too light so I took a dark green eyeshadow to put it on top and to make the lip color matte because it was a little shiny and look is complete. Now we're going to jump right into the second look. We're going to start with the eyes because all I did was take off the lip color and the eyeshadow and I left my foundation and everything else on and intact. I'm going to use a white eyeshadow and pack that on the eyelid because we're going to be using some light shades and I really want them to show. Next I'm going to take a purple shade and just put that as my crease color. I do realize that I didn't show any color examples from the palettes that I was using in the second look but I used the same palettes basically that I used in the first look in the second look. So now I'm going to take the purple shade from the Carly Bible palette and I'm going to put that on the outer two thirds of my eye. And then I'm going to go in with that white again because we kind of lost it and put that into the inner third of my eye. But don't worry, I'm going to link everything. Well, not link everything. I'm going to list everything in the description bar down below. Now I'm going to go in with a dark purple and just put that on the outer corners of my eye to make the look look smoky. Now I'm just going to thinly line the upper lash line because it didn't look like she had anything crazy going on. I'm just going to line my lower lash line as well. Now I'm just going to use some of that dark purple shade and smoke out my lower lash line because I felt like it needed a little bit of color at the bottom. Then I'm going to curl my lashes and apply mascara to the top and bottom. She looked like she was way more glowy in this video than she was in the first video. I mean, it could have also been the lights, but she looked like she was glowing to me. So I am applying cream highlighter to my forehead, my nose, cupid's bow, cheekbones, and on the arch of my brows. And I'm going to go over that with a highlighter from the Carly Bible palette. Now I'm just going to go in with a light shadow from the Carly Bible palette and apply that to my inner corners to make that glow as well. To finish the look, I'm going to add this purple lip gloss to my lips, apply some Fix Plus, and I'm done.
So that completes this video. I hope you guys enjoyed both looks. This one was way more subtle than the other one. I actually enjoyed doing the first one a lot because I've never done anything like that bold before. So I enjoyed that one. But I hope you guys enjoyed both. Please subscribe if you have not. Give the video a thumbs up if you liked it. Leave comments down below and I'll see you in the next video.